Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning. How are you people? So today, this morning, we are going to do um, practice in pairs. And we are going to work on poem for a start. Okay? So I will give you a handout for you to share with your partner. Alright. Now, I would like you to read this poem with your partner. Okay? The title is Don't Say Goodbye. Try to understand what it means and then look at the questions that follow. Okay? Alright, let us stop and look at the poem again. Okay, can I have someone to volunteer reading this poem aloud? Anybody? You wanna try? Okay. There never was a bright day, but always blue, as if only green clouds had taken over the sky. I seek to write to you. But nothing comes. Choose night and night my heart from my heart. My heart from me because of the time we spent together. Good or bad things that we ever say or done are tried to remember. When your heart turned away from me, when the weather changed from a warm evening breeze. Freezing rain. My heart, my, my heart breaks into pieces, bringing me down to my knees, and tears as as tears flow freely down my outer leaf, forgotten, not daring to scream out loud. Confusion, confusion, pain, and sorrow seem to be my only companions. These feelings I hide. Like, though, 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 in this life there seem to be all that is left, but I still hope you will erase the reason why you felt the need to leave me behind to face this harsh world on my own. Alright, thank you. Well done. Okay, don't say goodbye by Felicia. Okay? So, in your opinion, this poem is written Okay, to who? To someone special, a lover, a lover, still a lover, or no longer? No longer. No longer. The ex. Possible. A loved one. What is the tone of the poem? Is it a happy one? Sad. 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 Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Is it always happy or sad? Sad. Sad. When you have to part, you have to? Yeah. Okay. When you have to say goodbye, do you like it? Sometimes yes. When? From who? Do you like to say goodbye to your family members? No. Okay. So, sometimes saying goodbye is not a nice thing. Okay. It's not pleasant. So, what do you understand? This writer, what is the writer's feeling as she wrote the poem? Broken hearted, frustrated. Yeah. So the girls are good at this. <laughs> the girls, you know, they are sharper when it comes to this type of tone. Why? Why do you think girls are sharper when it comes to this type of message? They have experience. They have experience. <laughs> Possible. But girls, normally, okay, we are more sensitive. We are more emotional. Don't you think so? Yes, okay. So females, we are more emotional. So that is why we feel the writer. Let us look at the questions. First question, you are asked to select five different nouns from the poem. So the noun they is given as an answer, so you can't select that anymore. Yeah. So what are the five nouns and the matching adjectives that you can find? Can you give me your answers? Pouring rain. rain. Good. Pouring rain. So pouring describes how bad the rain is. Pouring rain. What's the meaning of pouring? Your friends ask. What does it mean? What? Hot. 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 Hot.
O R R I G So Tori Grave, what does it mean? Japanas. Always gloomy, as if Tori Grave clouds had taken over the sky. Right? So, you are not sure? I want you to go back and look up the meaning. Alright? Okay. What else? What other nouns and adjectives can you find? Sky. Sky. What about the sky? What is the adjective that describes the sky? Dark sky. Which line? Number four. Line four. Where does it say dark sky? It must be stated very clearly in the poem. You cannot guess. When you are asked to find the adjectives that describe the noun, it must be in the text which you can see and read very clearly. Like bright day, torrid rain. What else? Harsh, harsh word. Yes? Harsh word. Harsh word. Yes, harsh word. Cruel word. Okay, harsh means cruel word. Anything else? Warm evening. Good. Warm evening. Freezing rain. Yes. Freezing rain. Anything else? Bad things. Yes. Bad things. Like eight. You also have autumn leaves. Okay. What type of leaves? Autumn leaves. Alright. So make sure you manage to find them in the poem. Okay, let us move to question two. What did the poem remember fondly? When you have a question in the past, what did the poem remember fondly? Fondly means sangat, okay, always, okay, so much, remember so much. So what did the poem remember fondly? So you have to remember, you have to, when you answer, the poem remembered, okay, past tense. Okay, so the poet remembered what? Time. The time. Okay, the time they spent together. Right, good or bad things that were ever said between them. Okay, you can say the poet remembered the time they spent together. How about number three? What idea is similar? <clears throat> Look at line step 11. When your heart turns away from me. So what idea is similar? It is saying which idea in other lines okay, has the same meaning as line 10 to 11. When your heart turns turn away from me. When? when the weather changed from a warm evening breeze to freezing rain. Alright? So, in reality, when something changed, it reflects what? How about this relationship? If you see it, if you try to reflect or compare with the relationship, what does it mean? What could possibly change when your heart turned away from me? What does it mean? What happens to the relationship? Is it still the same? Or it has changed from good to bad? Yes, possible. So that is the meaning of when your heart turned away from me. Just like the weather, when the weather changed from a warm evening breeze to freezing rain. Okay. How did the weather change? How? The weather? How? Can you describe the change of weather? The weather changed from what? From? From warm to? Yes. Okay. From the warm evening breeze to freezing rain. What feelings did the poet hide? What are the feelings that the writer hide? Huh? It's there, it's there. Look at the 
absence in the poetry. Confusion, pain, sorrow. These are the feelings that the writer hides. Not daring to scream out loud, meaning not daring to speak or to say it to anybody else. Confusion, pain, sorrow seem to be my only companions. These feelings I hide. Right? Okay. You keep it to yourself. What does the poet still hope for? Is there any hope? What? She hopes that? The poet hopes that? Releasing from the line. What? But I still hope you will erase the reason why you felt the need to leave me behind to face this harsh world on my own. What is the hope? Do you understand what it says in the last stanza? All that is left, but I still hope you will erase the reason why you felt the need to leave me behind to face this harsh world on my own. So, what is the hope? Yes. Okay, okay, possible. To forget, erase means you have an eraser. If you erase, what will you do? You make it disappear. Alright? So, to forget. To forget the reason why okay, that person left the poet. Right? Why does the poet feel very sad? She still remembered the person she used to love or she couldn't forget okay, the person that she used to love. My heart breaks into pieces, bringing me down to my knees. As tears flow freely down like autumn leaves, forgotten, not daring to scream out loud, confusion. And last one, write a simile. What is a simile? <coughs> Words that begins with what? Phrase that begins with? Yes. S or like. Can you find any in the text? We have what? S? As tears flow freely down. What else do we have? Like autumn leaves, yes. Like autumn leaves as tears flow free from down. So, do you think you can manage to answer a poem? Normally, when you are given a poem, the questions will be pertaining this aspect. Alright? You are asked to understand what are the message of the poem. Okay. What is the possible message? Now, if you can, if you look at the name of the writer, sometimes it is given, you can identify whether the writer is a he or a she. But sometimes, if you are not quite sure, you can say, okay, on the general side, you can say that the poet, so you don't have to refer to a pronoun, the poet, okay, still loves the person, okay, that he used to love. If you write he, it can refer to both, whether it's a he or a she, so it is still acceptable. Or you can retain by saying the poet okay, feels sad. Okay, the poet. Okay. So, any questions so far? Next, we are going to do an activity. Okay. Now, okay. It says making an appointment, you're going to work with a partner. It is going to be a pair work, okay? Look at number three. You have Peter's diary, so your partner has the missing information, okay, to your diary. So what you are going to do is, you are going to speak to your partner and fill in the blanks of Peter's diary, okay? When you write, you are going to use the present continuous tense. You are going to ask questions using present continuous tense. How do you do that? Okay, you will ask your friend a question. For instance, okay, at 7 a.m., okay, what will Peter be doing? Okay, or you say, 
What is Peter doing at 8 a.m.? So your friend will answer you. Okay? And you look at number three. Right? So speak to your partner and get the missing information. Okay? You manage to get all the answers? Yes? If you are done, go and fill up the conversation number two. Okay, between Pesh and Bob. Alright, that is a telephone conversation. Try to fill in the blanks with the words and phrases given. Alright, boys and girls, let us look at okay, Peter's diary. We use present continuous tense to describe an action that is ongoing. Okay? Sedang berlaku. So, you have, okay, on Monday the 4th, 11 a.m., okay, Peter is attending sales meeting. Okay? Or you can say, Peter is having, okay, a sales meeting. And then, on Monday 4th at 3 p.m., okay, Peter, okay, okay, Peter is calling Julian. And then, Tuesday, Peter is having lunch with Tom. And at what time? 1 p.m., okay, Peter is touring the new plan. What's that? I am telling you about present continuous, the action. When you describe the action, okay, it will be in present continuous tense. Meaning at that point of time, the action is happening at that point of time. If I ask you to describe at 1 p.m. on Tuesday 5th, what is Peter doing? You will tell me Peter is touring the new plant. Okay? So if I ask you on Wednesday 6, 10 a.m., what is Peter doing? Peter is visiting his office. So that is why, okay, it meant by present continuous tense. You describe an action which is happening at that point of time. You use I and G. Okay? So Peter is playing golf with Tom and Harry. Peter is catching an evening flight at 5 p.m. Okay, do you get it? Alright. Look at the conversation between Pam and Bob. This is a telephone conversation. So anyone would like to become Pam? Bootsra? <coughs> would you like to try? Okay. And I want it. Alright, so far so good? So take care and Assalamualaikum. 